the Palace Museum Taipei resides the Duke Mo Tripod, a key highlight of the museum's collection. The Duke Mo Tripod was cast during the late Western Zhou Dynasty and was first excavated in Qishan County, Shanxi Province, in the Qing Dynasty. Having survived many chaotic decades, it was moved to Taipei along with the Nationalist Party's or KMT withdrawal and exhibited in the Taipei Palace Museum. The tripod takes its name from its creator Duke Mo. It has an inscription of 497 characters, the longest among the ancient Chinese bronze inscriptions. This serves as critical evidence for the research, epigraphy, and overall veterinal history in the Western Zhou Dynasty. The casting, excavation, collecting, and research on the tripod all have profound implications for the study of ancient characters, calligraphy, and inscription rubbing. Character is the hallmark of a nation's civilization on which the history is passed down. The 1899 discovery of the ancient oracles from the Yin and the Shang dynasty details the vast expanse of Chinese civilization. Before the oracles were unearthed, the bronze inscriptions used to be the crucial source for the ancient historical study. The Duke Mo Tripod is certainly a national treasure owing to its inscriptions of about 500 characters, a product of textology and epigraphy in the Qing dynasty. To record historical events and publicize their great feats, the rulers of the Shang, Zhou, Qing and Han dynasties tended to inscribe their deeds on bronze wares and stone tablets for internal conservation. Recordings on politics, military, geography, history, architecture, literature, and folklore, etc. can be found in these inscriptions. As time passes, a considerable share of bronze has been buried with a dead or melted to form other wares, vanishing in the dust of history. Some stone engravings are left incomplete from walls and a natural weathering, while others are indiscernible from wind erosion, all of which left no clues of the original content. Fortunately, with the inscription rubbing, these precious cultural relics are preserved till today, standing as important materials for the study of ancient history and culture. Chuan Ta, inscription rubbing, is a traditional technique to preserve the authenticity of cultural relics. It is one of the most dazzling gems of Chinese traditional culture. Chuan the first character denotes inheritance and continuation, and Ta is a process of rubbing a character or design on stones or metalwares with paper and ink. The instrument used during the process is called rubbing tamps and popularly termed puts. The main materials including paper, ink, or cinnabar. Basically, the paper is adhered to the surface of the wares, and the rubbing temps, after being dipped in ink, are pressed against the paper. The characters or patterns retrieved on the paper is therefore called rubbing. The technique was given an official name, Chuan Ta, due to its well-developed procedures. From a certain 手肘手是新的一种表达，除了技法上的一个一个了然于雄热，它重要的是一个心情的表达。这张作品才能干净，才能显示出它墨色滋润，才有有珠有刺，这个画面比较完整。传塔 originated during the late Han and early Tang dynasties. 
in the fourth year of the reign of Shi Ping of the Eastern Han Dynasty, Cai Yong erected forty-six stone tablets inscribed with the seven classics of the Confucianist. These were located in Luoyang Taishue, the Imperial College in Fuzhou, China, for students to peruse and copy. Thus, the inscription rubbing was thriving. During the Tang Dynasty, due to the prevalence of Buddhism and calligraphy and implementation of civil service exams, a large quantity of rubbings emerged. Rulers in the Northern Song Dynasty collected numerous relics and rubbings of stone tablets dating from the Han and Tang dynasties, as well as drinking vessels from the Shang and the Zhou dynasty. The collections of these items helped to establish a royal etiquette, which popularized these engravings and rubbings and stoked the development of epigraphy. During the middle of the Qing Dynasty, textology and epigraphy experienced a renaissance. Scholars in the period of Qianlong and Jiaqing expanded the collection of artifacts to include oracles, poetry, coins, and seals. The object of rubbing shifted from characters to the ornamentations and the styles of artifacts. Quan Xin Ta and Yin Ta, both are different types of rubbing techniques, made their debut. Legend has it that Quan Xin Ta composite rubbings was devised by Ma Qifeng in the Qing Dynasty and developed by Shi Liu Zhou and Li Jinghong. Shi was a versatile monk whose painting entitled Ti Den Tu. Set a new creative arts trend that combined Quan Ta and Zhui. In the Qing Dynasty, with the discovery of a large amount of bronze, the study of epigraphy and the rubbings of entire bronze became popular. Chen Jieqi, also known as Fu Zhai, was a fan of antiques and had a fine collection of ten thousand pieces. In 1852. The Duke Mo Tripod was bought by Chen Jieqi at great expense. Chen held it secretly, researched and rubbed it, and then shared the Quan Xin Ta of this bronze piece with his friends. After that, the Duke Mo Tripod was collected successively by Dong Feng, Ye Gong Chuo, and his nephew Ye Gong Chao, as well as. Chen Rongren. In 1948, Taipei, the capital of the Taiwan province, housed the Duke Mo Tripod and some other cherished antiques, with the retreat of KMT. Quan Xin Ta of the Duke Mo Tripod became a fad in the late Qing Dynasty and also during the period of the Republic of China. Under the influence of the Qian Jia School, Quan Ta inviting other academic and art sectors, such as paleography, textual research, calligraphy, painting, Chinese seal cutting, etc., has expanded and developed itself into the recreation of such an art. In Beijing, a group of epigraphy researchers, including Wang Yirong, Liu Er, Chen Baochen, Luo Zhengyu, Yi Daan, Wang Guowei, Ma Heng, and others, have been delving into inscriptions and rubbings while interpreting and exploring them to calligraphy. This positively impacted modern archaeology and research. And application of paleography. It was during this time that oracle bones in the ruins of the Yin Dynasty were discovered and became a hot spot for the study of epigraphy and calligraphy. The earliest remains of the Tang Dynasty, including the Wen Quanming 
the Diamond Sutra and Hua Tzu Temple Tablets had been discovered in the Thousand Buddha Caves of Dunhua Mugo Grotto. Cherished by many people to date, the Quan Xing Ta of the Duke Mo Tripod was widely imitated and became a focal point for research. In prosperous Shanghai, under the influences of epigraphy, several artists established some folk arts groups, like Shanghai Literary House of Inscription Rubbing, Calligraphy and Painting Society, and Hangzhou Xilin Society of Silk Arts, which had brought forward some great artists, including Xu Gu, Ren Bonian, Pu Hua, and Wu Changshuo, etc. They highly integrated the art of inscription rubbing with the art of calligraphy and painting, and created many bogu paintings, a kind of painting that imitates the shape of ancient artifacts or the handcrafts that is decorated with graphics of ancient artifacts. This practice became one of the most characteristic art forms of Shanghai's school of painting, and eventually promoted the art of Chuan Ta to its historical peak. Chuan Ta was not merely charming, but rather it contributed significantly to the inheritance and development of Chinese civilization, as we all know. The major characteristics of Chinese civilization involves the moral and ritual propriety, which is embedded in the academic literature of Confucian teachings, such as the Six Classics, the Six Arts, and the Five Ethical Norms, which embodies Confucian thoughts and culture. Since the reign of Emperor Wu of the Han Dynasty over two thousand years ago, when Confucianist thoughts and culture widely spread and developed, Chuan Pa has played an important part to rectify and amend historical recordings, providing a vast database for research. Chuan Pa was a significant boost. Of the advancement of Confucianist thoughts and a powerful engine to direct and prompt the development of Chinese civilization. Today, with the cultural self-awakening of the bronze and stone inscriptions, Chuan Ta inscription rubbing is back to the sight of people. Many paintings of Chuan Xing Ta of bronze with drawing plants are created. One of them is a. Baoding Shenhua Tu, painted by Yue Zhicheng, the student of modern master Pu Xuezhai, taking Quan Xing Ta of the Duke Mu tripod as body, being complemented by drawings of pine trees, bamboo, and plum. These companions in cold weather in Chinese culture, this artwork. Can be counted as an expansion of the composite wrappings of the bronze ware in the Republic of China, and to return to modern Chuan Ta skills. Today, Chuan Ta of a stone inscription is back at the forefront for its self-awakening. Let us expect to see the prosperity of such an art again. The art of Chuan Ta.